Since the beginning of civilized society, those in power have been setting forth rules that they don't always follow. The people must, but they don't. It's been a sort of open secret. But now, in the age of the virus, it becomes so blatant that it can no longer be kept a secret. Left and right, politicians are being caught breaking their own virus rules. Will these politicians apologize? Does it even matter if they do? Let's get into it. One of the most tyrannical places in America in the age of the virus is California. Surprise, I know, California is supposed to be one of the most liberal places in the world. It's not, it's the most, one of the most progressive places in the world, which inevitably turns into one of the most oppressive places in the world. Some of the virus rules in California are just preposterous. From wearing masks while you're working out outdoors, not close to anyone, to limiting ho holiday parties to three households and no more than two hours. Why two hours? No reason. No reason. These people are so drunk with power that they make rules based on nothing, really. Interestingly, Governor Newsom of California didn't think his rules, his strict rules, applied to him. So he just broke all of them. He was caught attending a birthday party, breaking all his rules, so then he apologized. Check this out. Was that a few weeks ago, uh, I was asked to go to a friend's 50th birthday. Uh, my wife and I, a friend that I've known for almost 20 years, and uh, and a friend that had, well, put a lot of time and energy into his 50th birthday. Okay, first, why is he smiling like that? It's a little psychotic and it's giving me the creeps. Second, who cares if you were friends for 20 years and it was his 50th birthday party and he spent so much time planning it? Why are you detailing this, bro? Who cares? You broke all the rules. That doesn't matter. Let's keep watching. This to be an outdoor uh, uh, restaurant. Remember that? He said he was outdoors, okay? Let's keep watching. Sat down at uh, the larger table. I realized it was a little larger group uh, than I had anticipated. Uh, and I made a bad mistake. Instead of sitting down, uh, I should have stood up and walked back, got in my car and drove back. Uh, to my house. Instead, I chose to sit there with my wife uh, and a number of other couples that were outside the household. And you can quibble about the guidelines, et cetera, et cetera, but the spirit of what I'm preaching all the time uh, was contradicted, and I got to own that. And so I want to apologize to you uh, because I need to preach and practice, not just preach and not practice. And I've done my practice and preaching, brother. No, you need to shut up and sit down. This wasn't a mistake. It wasn't an error. You did it deliberately thinking you wouldn't get caught, but you did because you're an idiot. Okay. That was very nice, but let's see if he was telling the truth. Survey says no. He looked at you. He smiled at you. He lied to you. Look at this picture. Does that look outside to you? No, because it's not. It's inside. Does it look socially distanced to you? No, because it's not. Are the people wearing masks when they stopped eating or drinking? No. And it looks like it exceeded the number of guests allowed by California law too. Hmm, even worse. Among the people attending with Governor Newsom were California Medical Association officials, including the CEO. But these guys are out there every day telling you you can't do the things that they actually do. These guys are lying scumbag. Even worse, California schools have been shut down since April. Then they briefly open and shut back down again. Kids are suffering. They get no interaction. It's stunning their growth. And even worse, they're not really getting an education. But you know whose kids are getting an education? Gavin's kids, of course. He sends them to private school. He's not affected by his tyrannical laws. Hmm. And now... Let's move on to Crazy Nancy and the infamous haircut. After surveillance video shows her at a hair salon, getting a blowout and not wearing a face mask. The optics don't look good. No. There needs to be a no. whole lot of explanation. Of it's terrible. Nancy Pelosi is a hypocrite. The most powerful woman in America can be seen with wet hair inside a salon in San Francisco. Problem is, under California COVID-19 regulations, clients cannot be serviced indoors. All blowouts, dye jobs, and styling must be conducted outdoors. Naturally, like all the faceless politicians, you'd expect her to apologize, right? I mean, she clearly, blatantly, and deliberately broke California law. The law does not allow customers to be served inside. That includes haircuts and blowouts. Yet she got a blowout inside. 
So you expect her to apologize, right? Right. And she did apologize, but for the wrong reasons. Check out Nancy apologizing for falling into the trap that the salon owner set for her. For trusting uh, the word of a neighborhood salon that I've been to over the years many times. And that um, when they said, well, we're able to accommodate people one person at a time and that we can set up that time, I trusted that. As it turns out, it was a setup. So I take responsibility for falling for a setup. And that's all I'm going to say. Set up or not, the law is the law, Nancy, and you broke it. The business owner was trying to make some money. Of course, he'll try to accommodate you. This one is on you. And since we're in California, why don't we talk about the lawmakers that decided to take a trip to Hawaii until they got heat for it. They claim that they went to Hawaii for a four-day conference in which they would learn how to reopen their localities safely. The problem is that some of the lawmakers took their whole families. So it sounds to me like they broke the rules to go on holiday. Another hypocrite is the mayor of DC, Mayor Bowser. You see, she had designated Delaware as a high-risk travel state, meaning if you went there, it had to be for essential reasons, and when you came back, you had to abide by a 14-day quarantine. Does this apply to her? <laughs> of course not. Risk, list of states that are risky and, 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 and why you went there. Can you tell us about that? Sure. So Sam has asked me uh, about a, a trip that I took on Saturday night to congratulate the Biden-Harris team on a historic victory uh, and celebrate for Washingtonians what will be a change at the White House at 1600 Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue. And I've been very proud to do that. Was it essential? Absolutely. Let me let me just say this, Sam. I do a lot of things to advance the interests of the District of Columbia. And some of them are formal and some of them are informal, but all of them are necessary. I mean, the way she describes it, it's like anything she does can be argued that it's to further the agenda of D.C., formal or informal. And now let's talk about our two favorite mayors, Bill de Blasio and Lori Lightfoot. Ladies first, so... We'll start with Lori. At the beginning of the pandemic, when the initial lockdown orders took place, Lori Lightfoot, whatever you want to call her, was caught with a fresh haircut. What was her excuse, you may be asking yourself? Don't worry, I got you. She said that she was the face of the city. She was going to be on TV a lot, doing press conferences about the pandemic. So she had to look good. But yeah, she actually said that. Lori's second infraction came celebrating Biden's premature victory. Her excuse this time? Look at the video. Everybody was wearing a mask. And plus, those people would have got there anyway, if I was there or if I wasn't. In the video, yes, most people are wearing masks. I could see three people that are not, including Lori Lightfoot. And plus, what is this? Masks are some magical anti-corona device? They're not. You need to social distance at least, right? Or can we all crowd into places with masks? I don't think so. Anyway, take a look at her explaining it. One of the reasons people feel frustrated or skeptical is they're getting a lot of mixed messages. What do you say to those who are criticizing you where less than a week ago, you went out and stood before a massive crowd who was celebrating um, Joe Biden's victory, and now you're saying your city has to shut down. How do you have one and not the other? Well, look, I, I, I think that We've been saying all along, everybody has to take care. Everybody has to take precaution. I will tell you, in that big crowd a week ago, we had everybody was wearing masks. Look at, you can see the shot here. Um, mask compliance in our city is actually up very, very high. But yes, there are times when we actually do need to have a relief and come together. And I felt like that was one of those times. That crowd was gathered whether I was there or not. The worst mayor of America, Bill de Blasio, also made an oopsie and was caught. See, while everything was locked down in New York City, including the gyms, Bill de Blasio hit the gym because the rules don't apply to him. And what was his excuse? Very similar to Lori Lightfoot. He said, and I quote, I need exercise to be able to stay healthy and make decisions. Don't we all need that, Bill? Huh. <sighs> this video is starting to be longer than I expected. We have a lot of double-speaking, lying, hypocrite politicians, don't we? Let's keep going. Mayor of Philadelphia Jim Kinney 
was spotted dining indoors in a Maryland restaurant. Why is this news? Well, you see, in Philadelphia at the time, indoor, indoor dining was banned. You can imagine how restaurant owners in Philly were very upset. Not only was this causing them a lot of money, but the mayor was just going to spend his money at other restaurants in other cities. Even worse, his other constituents want to dine outside too. So that makes you another hypocrite. And to finish off, we got to finish strong. So let's finish with Andrew Cuomo, the worst governor in America, responsible for over 33,000 deaths, including 6,000 deaths, preventable deaths, in elderly homes. Andrew Cuomo visited Georgia and hugged the mayor without a mask on. Take a look. If a civilian did that, I really have no problem with it. But Andrew really grinds my gears. He wrote a book about the pandemic when the pandemic is not over, and he blames people who don't wear a mask or didn't wear a mask for the second spike. Quote, if you're socially distant and you wore a mask and you were smart, none of this would be a problem. It's all self-imposed. If you didn't eat the cheesecake, you wouldn't have a weight problem. Okay, Andrew, whatever you say, my lord. What is going on with these people? And it's not just America, I imagine. I know in Australia, the government's going a little cuckoo with the virus response. I came across this on Twitter and it was hard to believe, really. Let me show you. A woman tweets, Hey, South Australia police, for the sake of my stupid husband, who's doing a Karen from Brighton Moan, can you please broadcast very specific information about walking the dog? South Australia police answers. Hi, Andrea. You cannot leave the house to walk the dog or to exercise. What the fuck? I bet the local politicians are exercising and walking their dogs. What do you think? Is the behavior that we're seeing okay? Is it acceptable? Should we accept their apologies? I don't think so, because it seems to me like all their breaches of the rules and the laws are deliberate. They're not accidents. So no, I don't accept. Comment your opinion down below. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. See you next time.